Hello everybody, welcome to Pro Engineer Made Simple. This is the third lecture and today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D object. You get, in the last lecture I showed you how to make a 2D sketch and today I'm going to show you how to make that sketch into a 3D object. So I'm going to open up sketch lesson from the other lecture and here I have it and you can see the first sketch that we made and the second sketch and what I'm going to do to make the extrude is very simple what we need to do is have a reference for our extrude and that reference is going to be the sketch so we, we can either click on the sketch in the viewing window here or we can click on the sketch over here in the bar on the left either one will work and you'll know that it's selected when it's highlighted in red that means we can now use it so we go over here to the right next to the sketch tool is the extrude tool and so if we just click on the extrude tool it automatically makes this yellow uh, 3d object now it's yellow right now because it's not completely defined we right now I can change the length go either direction I want to and I can do a couple different things here when you're changing the length you have three different ways to do it two of them are pretty much identical but you do it in two different spots first way is what I was just doing is I was clicking on this white box and dragging it the other option is to simply click on the number that's right here double click on it and you can say let's make it 50 units long now we have 50 unit long extrude or I could come up here to the toolbar and change its length to say 90 now it's 90 units long so whatever way you want to use it uh, to edit the length go ahead um, sometimes if you're just doing a quick approximation simply dragging this along is going to be much simpler than going and guessing a number So, before I go ahead and accept this sketch, uh, sorry, this extrude with this green check button up here, what I'm going to do is show you a couple of different things that you can uh, do to this extrude. Now, I can pull and drag this over to the other side, or if I didn't feel like doing this because I already had a number set in and I didn't want to change it, I could hit this flip button up here in the toolbar right next to the number and it flips to the other side of the sketch which it's referenced from or there's a couple other different options here uh, in this pull down bar right here allows you to change a couple different features in this one it makes the sketch the exact center of our extrude so this 90 unit long extrude now is has 45 unit to the left and 45 unit to the right it's one very cool thing that you can do when you have a couple different parts put together you can make some pretty cool things by using this feature so if I wanted to accept this I'll hit this check button and now you see that the yellow now turned to gray that means that this works and it is referenced properly and you can now use it to do other things in Pro Engineer. if you look over here on the left you'll see that sketch one which is the sketch now highlighted in red that we use to make this extrude is grayed out it's hidden but not quite it's still present but it's just not being shown. It's because it's now being referenced to by this extrude. This extrude is using sketch one as a reference to form itself. Now let's make let's try to make this other sketch sketch two over here into an extrude. So following the same steps, I'll select it, and you can see it's selected over here, and I'll hit the extrude button but unlike last time this isn't making a 3d shape which is what the extrude button and tool does this is because it has more than one loop if you look at this you have lines crossing each other 
and ending at each other. So down in this corner we have a problem, and up here at the top we have a problem. Now if we got rid of this curve in the middle, we'd have a nice box coming off of here. Or if we got rid of one side or the other and kept this curve as one side of the loop, it would work. To demonstrate what I mean, I'll cancel this extrude by hitting the red X here and making a new sketch to show you what I mean. So I'll select the front datum plane here and make a new sketch. And I'll make a few different shapes just so you can see a couple of different examples. I'll have a circle, I'll have a box, I'll have an arc there. There we go. A couple of weird shapes for that. And I'll accept this sketch. Now we have a whole buff bunch of different things here. But you'll notice none of them have a line that's going in the middle, crossing them, like a do not enter sign or something like that. This one is, has a line going through the middle and it touches. So if I was going to make an extrude off of this sketch right here, highlight in red, sketch 3, it'll work now. So I can accept that or cancel it. I want to show you something else as well. I'll edit the sketch. If I put a straight line in here, or any line for that example, let's just say that this triangle over here is close, but it's not quite closed, and I accept the sketch, you'll notice that this isn't a loop. It doesn't connect back on itself. So when I go to try to extrude this, it doesn't work. See, I'm not allowed to accept this, and you can see it's trying to make it over here, but it's giving me a little yellow star as a warning, saying, eh, this isn't working out. So I'm going to cancel out of that, and I'll edit the sketch again. And I'll delete the triangle here, and let's put a line through the circle here. Accept this and try to make an extrude, and it's just not trying to go. So it's not working. It's because that line isn't looped back on itself and it's intersecting with this half the circle. And it's not sure what loop you're trying to make. Are you trying to make a half circle here? Are you trying to make a whole circle? Are you trying to make a P or something? It's not sure what you're trying to do. So just remember when you're trying to make an extrude that you only want one continuous loop, like a circle or a box or this funky little shape here and you don't want a line going through them or a random line not closed something like that you don't want those in there so have fun with this try to fiddle around make some funky little shapes with the spline tool and have some fun with this